So here's the thing before we get into this. I've actually been in the process of making a video that heavily praises the Sonic movie. However, I've got a feeling it's going to make some of you kind of angry all the same. So, yeah. Click that subscribe and bell notification button because you're not going to want to miss that one. Anyway, on with today's news. When Paramount Pictures finally revealed the new design of Sonic in the Sonic movie, fans worldwide rejoiced and jubilations were held on a global scale because the evil that was Manhog the Sonic had been defeated at last. Now in his place was the new Sonic movie design and it was so much better than the old one. Yes, really, it was so much better. It's just better. So the new movie design has been getting universal praise pretty much across the board because it doesn't look like that anymore. And we all thought that we'd seen the last of Manhog the Sonic. Well, guess what? He's come back! Manhog the Sonic will soon be terrorising the aisles of toy stores across the land and across the globe. Because remember how in that video about the cancelled Sonic movie toys that were going to be given away at some Russian cinemas? How I said, you know, this is probably not going to be a one-off. We're probably going to see some of the old designs actually being put into production. Because a lot of toy makers are going to be like, well, it's going to cost us way too much money to redesign and remake absolutely everything. We've got to go with this now. And also, they're probably not too happy about that. Well, that's exactly what's happened. And it's happened happened, if you can believe it, with the master toy partner, Jack Pacific. You might remember a few months back, there were a couple of toy listings on Jack Pacific for some new Sonic movie toys, and a few of the toys are actually major plot spoilers for the upcoming movie, and one of them is the recently revealed Baby Sonic plush. Well, a few of these listings have now appeared on Amazon, complete with pictures, and horror of horrors, the new Sonic movie toys are using the old design. Yes, folks! Manhog the Sonic lives. So there are two listings which have appeared so far. One of them is for this rather generic looking Sonic playset, which we'll talk about in a little while. But the other one is the far more interesting toy, because it's actually a plush of Baby Sonic but with the old Manhog the Sonic design. Yeah, I bet you didn't think you would see this one anytime soon. We've actually got our first look at Baby Sonic, but with the old design. Now, Baby Sonic was revealed earlier this week, and yeah, what can we say? He's as cute and adorable as hell, and everybody seems to love him. And we've now got his old design! So let's first talk about the Sonic movie playset, which is called the Sonic the Hedgehog Spin Dash Sonic Rev and Launch! Super Sonic Speed! Wow, that's a name that just rolls off the tongue, isn't it? So what exactly is this thing? Well, it looks like something that is known in the toy industry as a label swap. It's basically, they've taken an old established toy and they've basically redecorated it to look Sonic-y, and I'll explain what I mean by that in just a moment. So this thing is basically a, well, um, I don't really know how to explain it, but what you do is you've got this Sonic figure inside this like ball thing and you put him inside a launcher and traditionally how these things work, you either pull a rip cord or you sort of charge it up and then release it and it spins out and usually it flies up a ramp and goes through a hoop or something, which is exactly what this one does. And some of you might be thinking, didn't they already released that kind of toy before. Why, yes! Yes, indeed, they did, because this exact same toy was made by Tomy for Sonic Boom. Yeah, this is what I mean by it's basically a label swap. Granted, this one's made by Jack Specific, but still, it is basically just a label swap of a pre-established toy. You know, it's not that original. But anyway, it is in fact using the old Sonic movie design and, well just look at it, you can blatantly tell Sonic's clearly not wearing gloves, his hands are painted white, and you can also tell by the old shoe design, and also, look at him, he looks awful. 
it just looks absolutely hideous. Now, granted, the um, the packaging itself looks... I'm not sure. Is that the new design? It, it does look... It, it's definitely not the old design. I'm, I'm pretty sure that is the new design there. So the packaging has been updated. But as I said in the last video, and so many people said, no, 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 this was done deliberately. This was done deliberately. This is a conspiracy. This is done. This is a conspiracy. This is that they've done this for publicity. No, no, no. No, they haven't. This is clearly how it was going to be. They've had to use the old design because it's going to cost them way too much money to redesign and remake all these products. And they're probably quite furious at that because they've got all these toys that now don't look anything like the Sonic movie design. That's not great. That's a pretty bad thing because that discouraged is people from investing and making products in the brand. So we have this thing now. That's a thing that we have to live and deal with. And what do you what do I think it's going to be like? Probably not that great to be honest. This kind of toy rarely ever is. In fact, if you look up videos of the Sonic Boom toy, it's just not that good. It really really isn't that great. So I'm not expecting too much from this one. But anyway, let's talk about the Baby Sonic Movie Plush based on Manhog the Sonic. Well, this is one of the ugliest plushies I have ever seen in my life. This is absolutely terrifying, which, to be honest, isn't really much of a surprise. I mean, it's supposed to be a baby version of the original Manhog the Sonic, so of course it's going to look like it escaped the laboratory before it was fully cooked. And this is... Yeah, it just looks awful. <laughs> It really, really does look horrendous. But yeah, um, Manhog the Sonic looked horrendous, so no surprises there. There's a few pictures of it from multiple angles that you can take a look at, but yeah, it doesn't look good from either angle, unfortunately. I mean, in terms of what the plush is actually like, you know, build quality and all that, it's probably your standard affair with Jack Specific, so if you've seen their new Sonic plushies, you'll probably know what you're going to expect when you actually get this one in terms of quality and overall value I guess. I mean it's only ten dollars. It is really it is only ten dollars so it's not that much. It's not going to be the greatest plush ever. It's not going to be the worst plush ever in terms of quality but yeah it looks like baby manhog the sonic and I kind of want it. No really I do. It's it's bizarre to think that. It, it does look it is one of the ugliest sonic plushies I have ever seen but it's a baby sonic plush of the cancelled, redesigned Sonic. Of course I kind of want it. <laughs> it just looks so creepy and weird. Why wouldn't you want it in your collection? But sadly, it isn't based off the actual new Baby Sonic redesign, which is, which is a shame because that thing is cute as all hell and everybody loves it. Now, that's something that I was actually thinking of when I was uh, doing this video was in Japan right now, if you actually pre-book tickets to the Sonic movie, you get a Baby Sonic keychain. And that thing looks exactly like the new modern design. And, wow, I just said modern design, like, in the context of classic and modern Sonic. Oh my lord. But yeah, the, um... The Japanese Baby Sonic merch looks really, really good, and we have seen already there is a grown-up movie Sonic plush with the new design, and that looks pretty good as well. So you can tell that not all toy manufacturers and toy makers are kind of locked in. You know, some of them were able to change the designs before they went into production, but it is still pretty bad on the license holders that they spent all this money to cash in basically on the movie and they changed the design at the 11th hour and now they're pretty much stuck with all these toys which look nothing like the final designs and it isn't a good thing because it does have a negative impact on the brand overall because it makes toy manufacturers think well why would I invest in this brand if they're going to be changing the design like this after I've spent all the money manufacturing creating all these art assets and making the plush or, or the action figure or whatever it, it really really isn't good it's not a good thing it's not a good thing for confidence in the brand it's not a good thing for us as the consumers because we might not get as many toys in future just nobody wins when this happens but yeah the old design was absolutely horrendous so um, that's the risk you take unfortunately so anyway guys what's your thoughts on these do you think they're amazing and let's be honest i know some people out there probably probably do because some people just like whatever this movie throws out at them regardless to what it actually looks like but anyway i'm hoping to actually get a sonic movie video up at some point next week and this is going to actually be a good positive video 
Yes, I know! I've actually got something good and positive to say about the Sonic movie. I've got a feeling it's going to make a lot of you very angry, so make sure you subscribe and click the bell icon because you don't want to miss that one. But anyway, let me know your thoughts on the merchandise down there in the comments. And are you going to pick them up? Please let me know. Thanks for watching, guys, and a huge thank you to my Patreon supporters. Their names should be flying up the screen right now, and we'll see you all again next time. Goodbye!